Let me tell you, one of the biggest controversies surrounding our education system is heating up. The Common Core Standard is supposed to help our students prepare for college and their future careers, but concerns are growing that the curriculum is doing more harm than good and is causing one Arkansas mother to say enough is enough. With more on this, the Arkansas mother, Karen Lamoureux, a member of Arkansas Against Common Core. Karen, welcome to the show. We've been covering the story for some time. Tell me about your objections to this standard. Oh, hi, Jerry. Thank you for having me. Uh, gosh, where do I begin? Um, the standards are not rigorous. They're not college ready. They're not preparing our kids for a global economy. And they come with some very disturbing uh, privacy invasions in the testing agreements with uh, the two consortiums, Park and Smarter Balanced. You know, I've heard people talk about this on TV. I've heard my friends talk about it, whose kids are in these programs and, and having to meet these educational standards. One of your objections I've seen you quoted as saying, it's the dumbing down of American kids. Explain that to me. Mm -hmm. It really is, and I, I think what's getting the parents' attention first is in the math standards, particularly at the third and fourth grade level. It seems that uh, they're bringing back some uh, previously controversial math methods uh, in the third and fourth grade that, as opposed to using standard algorithm, they're teaching it in a very remedial way using CGI and everyday math. Oh, you're way over my head, let me tell you, Karen. Uh, <laughs> so my understanding, and you tell me if I'm right, I'm going to try to put it in English, they seem to require that the students sort of draw out and show mm -hmm. uh, how they solved a problem rather than to using kind of conventional, I don't even know how to explain it, uh, ways of solving math problems that we all knew and we all grew up with. It's totally different. That's right. It's wreaking havoc at every kitchen table in America. <laughs> Parents have just had it with this nonsense. I call it caveman math because it looks like our children are drawing caveman sketchings on a, on a wall. Uh, the CGI method calls for them to draw diagrams and use manipulatives. And, and, and there's a lot of teachers that love the CGI way of doing math, but the problem is in the delivery and that it's cognitively inappropriate for the age and the grade that it's being used. And, and this is specified in the standards. The proponents will try to come back and say, oh, you know, that's curriculum, and you need to go back to your district with curriculum issues. But this is found in the standards. Okay, well, I know a lot of critics say, hey, look, the goal of this thing is that we're trying to prepare kids to compete in a global economy. That's what this program <laughs> does. That's what it's all about. Supported by Bill Gates, a lot of smart people behind it, Mm -hmm. What would you say to that criticism? I say it's baloney. <laughs> it's absolute baloney. And I have yet to hear a proponent of the Common Core come back and explain to us how this is rigorous. How is this college ready? How is this, pre uh, pre what's the word I'm looking for? Preparing our kids for a global economy. In high school math, they can't get calculus. They can't get trigonometry. That's not college ready. So the proponents of Common Core use a lot of propaganda and they repeat the same messages and the same words over and over again without really giving uh, parents in America an explanation as to how they're doing those things. Well, you've said uh, over and over again, parents have no voice. Karen, you gotta come back when we have mm -hmm. more time. I wanna talk about this some more because you're an eloquent spokesperson for this view on Common Core and we're just starting to explore and understand it. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Great job. Thank you for having me. All right, while the fight over Common Core just seems to be getting hotter, the publication Education Week has come out with its report card for the states when it comes to education. The states scoring the highest on the list make up tonight's top five, number five, Vermont. This state has the highest graduation rate in the country, believe it or not, at 85%, and spends the highest proportion of tax revenue on education at 5.5%. Number four, its neighbor, New Hampshire, nearly 60% of fourth graders were deemed proficient in math, the second highest in the country. Number three, New Jersey, nearly half of eighth graders are proficient in math. They spent nearly 5% of taxes on education and are being praised for the reforms enacted last year under Governor Chris Christie. Number two, Maryland. This state scored a B thanks to nearly half of fourth graders being proficient in reading. That is the highest percentage in the whole country. And the number one state with the best schools is Massachusetts. Nearly one in five eighth graders are in advanced classes and they start them young in the Bay State. Preschool enrollment is nearly 60%. That's pretty good. The states that got an F for their schools, Mississippi and Louisiana. 
We'll be right back with my two cents more and the answer to our question of the day. Is the economy, is it getting better or worse? What do you say?